Hey guys, Wasfrick here to take a look at my Russian KUKLA camouflage uniform. Had this for a little bit, but uh, finally decided to get around to reviewing it. Now, first off, the thing that'll strike you is that this is in DPM 68 pattern, just like my uh, my British DPM smock here in CS95. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Just you can see it's a identical pattern. So that's uh, something very cool. But let's go ahead and get this out of the way here, and then we can move the uniform over. And then I have my Flora uniform here just as a comparison. So I made some notes on this uniform here. Um, we're going to do just an overview like this of the uniform on the hanger, and then I'm going to show myself wearing it. Got my uh, SSH-68 right there. So this is the KUKLA Kukla, or Kukla, I'm not sure how to say it. A uniform, it's an acronym in Russian, basically which means camouflaged universal suit. This appeared in the early 1990s, around uh, 1993. And it was used by uh, MVD Spetsnaz and uh, FSB, used by SOBR and OMON units. And it was used in the uh, first Chechen War. There's photographic evidence of that. Just something very, very cool. I mean, I didn't even know this stuff ex existed. I mean, I'm kind of into Russian stuff, but not like hardcore. I know there's tons of different camel variations, but... This one had caught my eye, and a while back I just had to get it. So, this is in the uh, M88 style of cut, uniform cut introduced in the late 80s. It's got the little epaulets right there, just for comparison. Got my VSR98 Flora here, which is the, the same cut, the M88. It's a very Russian, it's a, it's a very distinctive. But unlike the, uh, the later uniform, this one's made of like a, a cotton material. This is made of a, uh, a ripstop, which makes it extremely, extremely lightweight, versus the um, the DPM smocks, and sure, it's the British ones are made out of like cotton, which are very lightweight, but this is a definitely something interesting. Uh, this one is a brand new condition. If you don't believe me that this is Russian, here you go, right there. Yeah, this is in a uh, size 56-5 because I'm a, I'm a bigger guy and I like my uh, uniforms to fit a little bit more loosely. I could probably have gotten away with a 54-5, but I wanted to just make sure that this fits. So, you know, this is in brand new condition. It's uh, still very crisp, so I might have to run that through the washer a few times. But it's, uh, it's very cool. Lightweight ripstop design, kind of like a BDU style, but in the, again, the Russian M88. It's got these little epaulets right here, where you can put your web gear through there, or you can put rank on there. It has two front flat pockets, as I assume that, uh, based on what I've seen, that the top is meant to be tucked in. Button front, you know, standard, like your older uniforms. And then it has two sleeve pockets with enough room to put a, a little patch right there. Or on the other side there. And you can see the, the rip stop, the little squares right there, which is pretty cool. And then on the pants, What I find is needed is it's got an elasticized waist with um, belt loops. And then on the bottom of the pants, it has the foot retaining straps just so you can tuck those in your in your boots and you don't have to worry about them slipping out. So and what's uh, interesting is that even though it's got that strap, it's got the uh, elastic at the ankle. So I guess you could wear this technically over your boot if you wanted to but you know 
I don't know, I guess it's up to the individual um, operator or whatever. So just a very cool uniform. So let's go ahead and put it on. All right, so then this is the uniform as worn. As you can see, the cut is definitely very Russian with the epaulets, the definite M88 cut. You know, that's extremely roomy, extremely comfortable. Again, this is a size 56-5, which is bigger than what I actually would technically need. So, but it's, it's nice and roomy. I can cross my arms fully. Looks awesome in the DPM 68 pattern. You know, it's, uh, the top actually has an elastic waist, which is nice. I've got it tucked into the pants, which have an elastic waist with a button front. And actually I've discovered on the bottom of the, the pants, it, while it does have the, the foot loop, you can actually tuck that out of the way. So you could wear these over your boots, whether or not they're just black combat boots or the Sapolgai or the Sapoji, whatever the tall boots were, which I know the Russians were still wearing in the early 90s, and I've seen uh, footage of them wearing those boots in Bosnia. Uh, this is just, it's a, it's a very, very cool uniform. There's from the, from the back, then on the wrists there's button cuffs to adjust, you know, just so they're not sliding over your hands, which is pretty cool. Uh, the pockets are within easy reach, and it's just a good uniform. These are pricey though, so I'm just going to let you know that it's pricey for these, and then for the VSR 93 stuff is pricey as well, but just a very cool uniform, and I'm just really happy with it. So hope you guys like the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.